Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing some new gluten-free finds. Now everything I'm going to show you is junk food or snack food. I'm completely fine sharing that. I mean, my kids eat a really well-balanced meal. We do have some restrictions in our household, so I'm fine buying these things. So if you're new to my channel, my seven-year-old has celiac disease. She was diagnosed at three and a half. So we are gluten-free for medical reasons. So I'm always keeping my eye out for new gluten-free products, especially snacks with kids. So I'm gonna start with these sparkling Welch's grape juice bottles. We got these at Ollie's for $2.50. I think at Walmart, there's something over $4 in that range. Well, what's really cool is they're just like the big bottles, but individualized size. So my kids really enjoy drinking these and having their own special you know, drink. And what's nice is because they're smaller, you can take them to different events because we often bring food for my seven-year-old to family gatherings and things like that. So that's pretty easy to transport. Another thing is cats came out with their chocolate chip toaster pastries. These are gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, nut-free. They do contain eggs though. The older version did not contain eggs. And honestly, I didn't notice a big difference between the ones that contained eggs and the ones that didn't. So I'm not sure why they took or put them in, but they were good. I enjoyed them. Next is, got this at Target. These are the, no, I got these off Vitacost. The Made Good Soft Baked Mini Red Velvet Cookies. My 11 year old really likes a red velvet and she's been bugging me to make like red velvet cupcakes. So this was a nice alternative. And you can see it's free of all those things. And they were good. I like the white chocolate chips. So this came out recently, the DiGiorno gluten-free pizza. Now they did, DiGiorno did have a gluten-free pizza prior to this, but it was not certified gluten-free. And I will link up above the different certifications. They have changed the G, I believe, since I made that video. But that kind of explains the different levels of them. But this was really good. This was by far the best gluten-free pizza we have had. It's very fluffy. I think I took a picture of it because I sent it to my in-laws. I'm like, oh my God, this was great. I'll insert it if I can find it. But it was really good. It rose really well, which doesn't typically happen with gluten-free and everyone really enjoyed it. My kids were really surprised how fluffy it was and it wasn't dry or thin crust by any means. It was really good. So this is our definitely go-to pizza for making pizza at home. I will say though, this was $3 more than the regular DiGiorno pizza. I believe the regular was like $5. This was $8.50. So that just goes to show you that the kind of price difference you deal with when you have to buy items that are gluten-free. And do we have to buy pizza? No. Could I make it from home? Absolutely. But convenience items are good for people too, especially when they make the majority of their stuff at home. It's nice to have convenience items and it's unfortunate that we pay over $3 more than the average person when it's for medical reasons. Another thing is, and I might've talked about this in the past, honestly, I'm not gonna go back and watch a bunch of videos of mine um so if i mentioned it before sorry this is from aldi it's their gluten-free granola they have two different flavors i believe they have a cranberry too but what's really nice is this is beyond celiac <coughs> beyond celiac certified which again watch that video and the different certifications but that's one of the highest certifications you can get and finding granola can be harder with gluten-free and celiac because you have to be really careful with oats because of the high chance of cross-contamination with them. So I really do like using this granola in our house. Next is, got this at Walmart. They now have the gluten-free chewy granola bars, the birthday cake. These are really good. And again, they do have oats, so be mindful of that. They are labeled gluten-free, but they are not certified, and my daughter's not had any issues with them, but they're really good. Next, we found the new Chips Ahoy gluten-free. These are really good. I only had one because they do have milk in them and I am dairy sensitive, <laughs> but they, that's what they look like. The kids really enjoy them. They taste pretty similar to regular Chips Ahoy. So it's always nice to have different options. Now we have the gluten-free Oreos. We have the golden gluten-free Oreos. So now we have the Chips Ahoy. Uh, speaking of Aldi, they have, I noticed recently, gluten-free icing. Yes, icing, frosting can have gluten in it. Pay attention to it. Usually Betty Crocker brand 
is pretty good about it, but make sure you read your labels. But I was looking at this and it is, says gluten-free on the back. So I got vanilla and chocolate, and I think this was only a dollar or something. The Betty Crocker mixes are a lot more than that. But I know things like Wilton aren't um, gluten-free. Since we're on desserts, this is my go-to ice cream. So this is so delicious dairy-free chocolate hazelnut brownie. Again, I'm dairy sensitive, so I can't do straight cheese or milk or dairy or anything like that. It is certified gluten-free, which is really important when, again, dealing with oats or oat milk. You want to make sure it's certified gluten-free, especially if you're someone with celiac disease. But this is really good, and it's got little chunks of brownie in it. So I just wish they made them larger containers because this is not enough for me. Next up, so my husband was at Target and we I've been looking for something protein wise for my oldest. She's going through a really big growth spurt and she's been really, really active. She takes horseback riding, so that's a lot of physical activity. And then she's since it's summer, she's outside for like four, four and a half hours a day. And she's just running around with her friends and doing different things. So I'm looking for protein snack ideas. And we have beef sticks, we have cheese, we have, you know, the common ones. I'm looking at something fast and quick that she can eat. So I had him pick these up. These are legendary strawberry flavored protein pastry. So that's kind of what they are. And you can see they have 20 grams of protein, four carbs. Again, not super healthy ingredients. I'm not gonna lie, it's full of junk, but it's protein. So when she's running around, she's not passing out because she hasn't had enough, especially with our restrictive diet the way it is, it is sometimes hard because we don't have a lot of carbs in the food we eat because it's gluten-free, that I'm okay bringing in these little things um, to keep her going through her really active days. And we also picked up the protein, legendary protein sweet roll, the cinnamon. My seven-year-old who has the ecstasies really enjoys this. She actually brought it to church today as her treat because there's always coffee hour and donuts and cookies and stuff afterwards, and we usually bring a snack for her. It's not certified gluten-free, but it is labeled gluten-free. And again, this has 20 grams of protein. It's funny, my four-year-old got up super early this morning. What do you think he got into? But these, so he ate half of one of these um, before anybody was awake. So he's probably good on his protein intake, but it is really nice to microwave these. And it does have instructions on here to microwave. The cinnamon rolls especially are, are better, I think, with microwaving. I wasn't a big fan of it. They kind of taste more artificial to me, but my kids liked it. And it's a quick protein snack for them. Next, I'm gonna talk about cheesecake. So Aldi for May had their gluten-free, like, special gluten-free items for celiac awareness month out so we always get the supreme cheesecake and it's the live g free brand again it's beyond celiac certified really good we usually pick up two um, to put in our deep freezer so we take out one for my husband's birthday and then another special event because cheesecake is his favorite but for me since i don't do dairy i also wanted to mention the daya key lime cheesecake there are a bunch of different flavors this comes in regular strawberry, key lime, I believe there's a chocolate as well. Again, gluten-free, so GF certified. It's really good, I prefer the key lime. So when they have this, I have this. And then the last thing I want to share is I was looking for cereal options. We have cereal every Sunday because we go to church and it's busy. Throughout the other days of the week, we have you know real food, but Sunday we have cereal. And I've been looking for different options, specifically certified gluten-free cereal, just because I've noticed some issues in the past with certain cereals. And again, cross-contamination is a big deal. So I'm trying to find different options. Again, I live in a smaller area with not a lot of options. So finding actual certified gluten-free cereal isn't easy and when I do it's more expensive which is unfortunate but this was on sale at Kroger so I figured I'd pick it up it's the Leapin Lemurs so nature's, nature's path uh, peanut butter and chocolate I thought that sounded good and it was certified gluten-free and they have different flavors as well but the kids all like this and I do like that it comes certified gluten-free so those are all my <laughs> snack and junk food items that I have found recently. Again, if you find something that is really interesting or really good, please put in the comments below. I'm always looking out for different ideas, even if they're not local to me. If I 
get it off Amazon, if I can you know, buy it from Target's website, that's also an option too. But if you have any questions about anything I've shown, leave them in the comments below. If not, thank you for watching.